Our New York State Exposed Education Report continues now at 6. At 5, we told you about a problem facing parents whose children are on their way to college this fall. And a lot of children are. Federal and state laws, though, say all their academic and personal information is private. And as a parent, you can't see it even if you're paying for college. Tonight at 6, the tragic story of a local family that was trying to get information about their son, but the law prevented the college from sharing it. The family shared that frustration with Berkeley Breen. Berkeley. Hey, Scott, this is the story of Connor Trapazos. He was the young man from Fairport and a freshman at the college at St. Rose in Albany. Connor committed suicide last November. Now, his parents tell me they knew something was wrong and, and that he wasn't going to class, but when they t called the college to find out information, this privacy law got in the way. One of the reasons we chose a small college is we were specifically looking for someone that we felt was going to keep take care of him, keep an eye on him. Luann Trapazos is the mother of Connor Trapazos. Luann knew that Connor was suffering last fall as a freshman at the College of St. Rose. But when she asked the college for information, she was told she couldn't have it. And then I felt embarrassed. Um, his math teacher did email me back and said, um, I'm sorry, I can't really discuss his academics with you. Not long after that, Connor walked away from his dorm and disappeared. His body was found in November under a bridge over the Hudson River. Now, the reason the college couldn't talk about Connor and his grades, attendance and health, is because of federal and state laws that keep that information private. In an email, the College of St. Rose says it was deeply saddened by Connor's death and extends sympathies to his family and friends. On its website, it says, at the College of St. Rose, we consider students adults. And the only way a student's information can be shared with his or her parents is if the student signs a waiver. Most colleges, including St. Rose and Nazareth College, have those waivers. And I talked about this to Nazareth's Vice President of Student Services. They were trying to find information about their child, and they were told by the college that they didn't have access to it. It's a, it's a difficult one. From the college's perspective, we're always in a position to try to help um, mediate a situation, find a solution. This all goes back to the 1970s when Senator James Bunkley of New York got the Family Educational Rights Privacy Act passed. It affects every student in every state. Their information is protected even if parents are paying the bill. But there are parents out there who are saying, listen, I'm paying for this education. I should have access to this information. What do you tell them? It, you know, the, the law is the law. Um, and so, again, the, the, um, from the college's perspective, we are really bound to uphold that. Parents like Luann Trapazos just want colleges to have some sensitivity when they're upholding it. To have some kind of red flag set up, and if they're worried about uh, there's a child with certain flags, then yes, you know, they need to contact the parents and just say, you know, we have these concerns, maybe we should all, all to get together and talk about it. Now, Connor's parents had access to his emails, but his mother says when they started seeing the emails from the college to Connor about his attendance, and his parents started asking Connor about it, Connor changed his password and his parents were locked out. Scott, the law prevented the college from sharing its concerns over Connor's attendance with his parents. Wow. So the question here is, what are the options for parents here? Well, the colleges say, start by having a simple conversation with your child before they go to college and talk about what you expect them to share with you in terms of grades or attendance or problems. The important thing here is to call the registrar's office at your child's college and ask them, where do I find a waiver for the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act? Your college is going to know it as FERPA. Then, if you ha want to, have your child sign that waiver. Despite this law, the, the dean of students at uh, Geneseo told me that colleges do have the ability to contact parents if they believe the health and safety of the student is in jeopardy.